Hey guys, it's Liv. Today I am showing you some dinner ideas that you can make in 15 minutes or less. But before we get into them, I have a super quick but super exciting announcement. Basically, if you haven't heard me talking about these for a long time, I am selling these long sleeve tops and also hoodies, which if you don't know, matches my Create tattoo. So I'll just show you really quick. I have my little stack of them here. So this obviously is the long sleeve. That, I'm like out of breath from moving around so much. <laughs> really need a chill. This is the black long sleeve. And then this is the white hoodie. And by the way, all of these are so soft. Um, they don't really cling, which I like. And they're just like super, super soft and feel already like worn in and nice. The hoodies are like a really nice, good quality material. And the inside is like that super, super soft, fluffy fleece. And this is the black hoodie. They're just like an exclusive limited edition thing. So you have two weeks to get your hands on them. And then after that, they are gone and you won't be able to get them anymore. If you guys would like to go check them out, the link is in the description box below. That is everything I have to say about that. I really hope you guys enjoy the recipes and let's get into it. Start off by peeling and grating a sweet potato. I used a box grater, but you could also use a food processor if you have one. And then you are going to thinly slice an onion. And also you will want to preheat your oven so that it starts heating up for the taco shells. Next, we are going to pan fry the onion and sweet potato. So heat a frying pan to medium heat and then add a little bit of oil and start cooking the onion and sweet potatoes. And you're just going to add some salt, pepper, and chipotle chili powder. If you don't have chipotle, you can also use smoked paprika. And then you are going to put your taco shells on a pan and just heat them in the oven for the recommended amount of time on the package. Mine said for about five minutes. And then you just want to keep stirring the sweet potato so that it doesn't stick to the pan. But basically you just want to cook it until it's soft. So you can just use a fork to test a piece every now and then and just see when it's getting close to being done. So then when everything is done, you can assemble your tacos. I choose to add some greens, vegan cheese, the sweet potato mixture, some salsa and avocado. And this combination was heavenly. It was so good and super easy to make. Okay, for this one, we are going to start by chopping up our pizza ingredients. So here I am using green onion, red bell pepper, red onion, and mushrooms. You can use a store-bought pizza crust. I recommend doing that because they take less time, but if you want to use dough like I did, then you can totally do that. Just keep in mind that it probably will take a few extra minutes for you to shape the dough. And then this is the key ingredient for this. You need some red curry sauce, and we are using that instead of pizza sauce. So this might seem weird to you, and I was pretty skeptical this whole time as I was spreading it onto the pizza, but you gotta trust me, it just works. Okay, this recipe that I am using for inspo says to put cheese, so we're gonna put cheese on it. I so I added two different types of shredded vegan cheese. I used a vegan mozzarella and a cheddar, and then I just put the toppings on over top. And then I baked it in the oven for the amount of time that it said on the package. It will vary depending on if you use dough or pizza crust, but it should take around 8 to 10 minutes. And it only takes about 5 minutes to assemble the pizza, so it works out pretty perfectly. So 
So you want to put a large pot of water on the stove to boil, and then in the meantime, while that is boiling, you can chop up your veggies. So I did a bunch of veggies. I did red bell pepper, some Spanish onion, and then two types of zucchini, yellow zucchini and regular. By the time I was done chopping that up, the water was boiling, so I added in the pasta that I wanted to use. While that is boiling, we are going to pan fry the veggies with a little bit of oil. And then once those are softened, after a couple minutes, you can add in some tomato sauce, salt and pepper, some mixed Italian herbs, and then my favorite part is nutritional yeast. This just gives it a super, super savory, cheesy flavor and makes it nice and creamy. So I let that just cook for a few minutes until the pasta is done boiling and then I just drained it and added it to the sauce and you just need to let it cook for a couple minutes just so that all the flavors have time to mix and the pasta can get coated in the sauce and then you are ready to serve. I topped mine with a little bit of vegan mozzarella cheese shreds but that's optional it's still super cheesy and delicious on its own. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy the recipes. If you make any of them, take a photo and tag me on Instagram at It's Live B so that I can see what you guys are making. Aside from that, if you would like to get a Create shirt or hoodie, you can click the link in the description box below and then we can twin and just like all have our create things and we can create things and you can match my tattoo and it'll be amazing. So yeah. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I appreciate and love you all so much. I hope you're having a good day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.